Good morning. Hey, look at that. It's snowing outside. How novel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's snowing outside. That's exactly what it's doing. So, I had to abruptly end my vlog yesterday because of a work, uh, pressing work um, situation that had to be handled. And then my, it's not that it was impacted by that work situation, but I was just completely like tuckered out afterwards. So I um, had to have a brief and uh, a brief vlog, which is okay. There are days it will be 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and there are days it'll be under five. I I am sure everybody understands. Oh, and before I forget. The Russian lesson one and two at the end of yesterday's vlog. Formal greeting is Zdrastvoyte and informal is Privet. Um, and the informal you would use with your friends, uh, your contemporaries, where it is uh, Zdrastvoyte would be used with someone you're not familiar with or someone you have respect for, like an elder. And um, <clears throat> a formal goodbye is the svidanya, which literally means till we meet again. And an informal goodbye is paka, which to me is so much e easier. So again, that's the quick Russian lesson. If anybody else has any questions or wants to know how to pronounce something or say something in Russian, by all means, feel free to ask. I've been kind of really motivated. Um, I don't know. It's very odd for me to hear Russian on TV, particularly in prime time. See, I don't know where my voice is going. Be right back. Well, that was totally weird. My voice just totally dis disappeared. Oh, and I found, as I have been cleaning my desk, look at all, all that space. I came across this one ruble. Adin Rubel Adin. I don't think they use this anymore. I don't even know what year it's from. Nineteen ninety one. Yeah. This is while it was still um Biliat Banka Adin Rubel. No serial number. Let's see what does this say? Yeah, um, this is, yeah, see, the hammer and sickle. Um, I don't know what the currency looks like now, um, to be honest. Oh, see, there it is, SSSR. Um, uh, it's, uh, probably, like, the last Soviet ruble note. And the funny thing is, is I got this as a gift from my husband's uncle, Uncle Rufus, who sadly has since passed away. And it's just been sitting on my desk. I should probably put this in a little sleeve or something. So, yeah, there's a old Russian ruble. And it's small in comparison to um, U.S. dollars. It's a little over four inches by two inches. See, that it's my mind as a crafter that does instructions. I always measure things. <laughs> So there, there's a quick Russian lesson, uh, a view at an old Soviet ruble, and uh, snow. Lots and lots of snow. Um, the projected snowfall is anywhere from 3 to 14 inches. And that's because we, uh, in some of the hilly terrain of Connecticut, they're expecting 10 to 14 and I believe our neck of the woods is somewhere 6 to 10. Variation's kind of great, but we'll see. Time will tell. So um, somebody was kind enough to post a um, snow cream recipe on my Facebook wall, which was really cute. I saw the recipe. It has two ingredients, snow and a 14-ounce uh can of condensed sweetened milk. So what I'm going to do is 
place a clean stainless steel bowl right on top of that recycler right there and let Mother Nature give me one of the ingredients. Let's see, there it is. Snow cream. Uh, Patty. Patricia. She's the one who posted on my wall. And that was uh, sounded interesting enough for me to try it because you know what? All I'm sacrificing is one little can of um, condensed milk. So, oh, and um, after, well, shortly prior to the technical glitch that needed to be fixed um, yesterday for work, I got out some of these little embossing folders that I was asked about. Uh, I don't even remember by whom, I'm so sorry. Um, it's these little, like, tiny little embossing folders. And I created some little tiles, which I am going to make a little card with. Maybe something cute for the kids, for Amanda and Eli. And look at this. It embosses really beautifully. You can also, there's a pair of lips, where is it? Um, you can also emboss the, right here, it's this one, um, the outside flap of your envelopes. And that's really what I use these little ones for. I have a thank you, I have a whole pile of them. Um, at one point, when Provocraft had a lot more products available in the big box stores, and then they stopped updating them, I think the only thing they really maintain now is their larger embossing folders, uh, the cuddle bug plates, and um, cricket mats. But this kind of stuff, I don't, I don't even know if they make the size um, folders and embossing folders anymore. But some of them are really stinking cute, like this little um, bumblebee that's farting hearts. <laughs> like, how can you resist that? It's so cute. Look at that. And embosses really deeply. So that was nice. So if I have a chance to, maybe I'll put together a couple of little cards for the kids. I don't know if I'm going to be getting... Well, I am. I do have to go out tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have to go into the office tomorrow to get my new laptop for work. Oh, oh the timing is just in, uh, incredible. Oh, and Polly's um, at the hospital getting blood work done right now. They're still trying to figure out what the story is, whether it's really a hernia or, or what. But he's not a happy camper to lo to miss work, and he's not a happy camper because he's in pain. So there's the brief update. So I'm going to go see the girls. I have to first put boots on and hat, and well, I don't know if I'm going to put a hat on. We'll see. Maybe I'll bring you with me. I'm always kind of careful because I don't want to slip and fall, especially if I'm coming back and I have eggs in my hand. Yeah, it's a big old ugly mess. I, I'm procrastinating. I don't want to go outside, but I have to because I have to go see the girls. I have to bring them some fresh water in case the container they have in their freeze has frozen, which I'm sure it has because it's 21 degrees at the moment. But it is warmer. Oh, and we're supposed to have a warm spell? Tomorrow's supposed to be 38. Tropics. I might wear flip-flops. Just saying. Yep. Cold. Snowy. Oh, it's coming down pretty fast. It is beautiful though, isn't it? Oh, I hear the girls. Let me put this down so I don't fall. Hi girls! What's going on? Hold on, I'll switch your water. So I bring out a hot water. Swap out the one that might be frozen. It looks like omelets molting. They really like the warm water. It won't be warm for long though, so let me go check for eggies. Two warm eggies, a green and a brown. Oh, and when the wind blows, it's so not pleasant. But it is nice to see the heat, the house being heated. All right, you guys hungry? You want some mealworms? 
enjoying the mealworms and I filled up their food. So I'm going to head back to the house because it's cold out here. And um, the sooner I close the garage door, the better their heat lamp will work. Oh, that was chilly out there, so I'm opting for tea today. And it's, oh, it's so dark in here. Well, it's because it's cloudy outside. Um, I'm opting for my favorite Darjeeling, and I'm making it in my um, Keurig. There's the two eggies, which I will put away, and I'm having a bagel. I don't know if I want to put a piece of cheese or some jelly. We don't have any cream cheese. My favorite way to eat a bagel is with cream cheese and then jelly on top of that. Strawberry. So it's 50 degrees in Sochi and yesterday I believe it was near 60. No one should really be surprised. It's a summer resort area with palm trees. Do you know of places that have palm trees and natural snow? No, not really. So 26 here in Ellington. 27 in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Yeah, snowing again. I know. Aren't you sick of seeing it? Mm. Well, actually, today there's a purpose. I don't know if you could see. There's a stainless bowl on top of the recycler or garbage can, and that's for snow cream. Oh, and Steffi, thank you so much for a wonderful chat that really put a smile on my face. It was really great to hear from you. It was really nice to catch up. Um, so, and it's 29. Look at those giant snowflakes. So I finished my tea, which I think I might make more. It was really, really tasty. And it warmed me up two eggies. Um, I have to go grab my file effects to write that down. I do keep track. Just so I know kind of time frame wise, um, I keep a mental note because a chicken produces an egg every 25 to 26 hours. So I always check for eggs around the same time, give or take an hour, because I don't want to leave any eggs in the coop um, to get destroyed by the peckish hen. I, I have a meeting in a few minutes, which I need to prep for, and then I have to start uncovering my laptop. See this mess? I have to put that away. So the cards are going to be delivered tomorrow. Two I'm going to leave for Polly. Uh, one's going in the mail for my parents. Um, and that's the anniversary card. Their anniversary is March 1st. And then I have to un unearth, like a archaeological dig, my laptop that is going into the office tomorrow morning. And depending on how the weather is, I have between, I, I guess I have up until like 10 o'clock in the morning to go deliver it. So I have to um, pack up my docking station after work today and my laptop and my extra cord. Um, the monitor is mine and it stays here. Uh, printer's out of ink, and I really needed to print something today, so the ink is getting delivered on Monday. So I have, like, those things to do, but while I'm in the meeting, I can certainly put that stuff away. And, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and, um, because it's so icky, snowy, cold, it's not nearly as cold as it's been, but I thought it would be nice to make the mushroom soup today. So it's Hungarian mushroom soup, and if, if... A very big if. If I'm feeling enthusiastic, I might pop in a loaf of bread to make to have with it. But I have to go see if I have any butter out of the fridge. Yeah, the flakes are coming down. Um, they said at one point it could be three to four inches an hour that comes down. Oh, Lola. Yeah. But I'm, I'm working. So, yeah. Oh, and... Um, Yep, train of thought, completely left the building. So, I'll be back in a little bit. So, it's less than an hour since my last video clip, and look how much snow has accumulated on the recycler. Yeah, let's go check that bowl, stainless bowl. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to put out a bigger bowl so I can get more snow. Do I want more snow? The trees look gorgeous. And it's super quiet, so it's like whiteout conditions. Luckily, the girls are all snuggled in under their heater. I think I'm gonna go get a bigger bowl. Well, look at that. <laughs> New giant bowl, and I'm sure it'll fill up in no time. 
There's a lull in the storm, so I'm gonna go check the girls, grab my snow, got my condensed milk. <sighs> See how much we got. Got my ruler. Uh, almost seven, so let's go see the girls. That's deep, <laughs> but eerily calm. I see Chester's been out here. No more egg games, but I gave you, gave the girls some more treats. So look at the amount of snow on the mudroom. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, let's go make ice cream. Or snow cream. Alright, you gotta work fast. I have my can of milk. Oh. I might have to <laughs> scrape it out. Alright, well, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, so I don't have my tripod, so I'm gonna mix this. I'm gonna need both hands. And the big wooden spoon I also put a scoop of. A uh, splash of vanilla ice cream. I mean, vanilla. Pure vanilla extract. Alright, let me mix this. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like. It's a big bowl. Okay, so I've mixed it in. I might have had a little too much snow, so I'm going to taste it. See what it looks like. Mm. It's like the most delicious, crystally Shaved ice. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I'm gonna put it in the container. Pop in the freezer. And hopefully it keeps this texture. I'm gonna see if... <clears throat> hmm. I wonder if I wanna have a little bit right now. So I probably had a little too much ice to... Um, Condensed milk ratio. If you don't have condensed milk, you can have you can use regular milk, sugar, vanilla extract, and then add a cup of snow at a time. This would be a fun thing for kids to do. I think I'm gonna pack most of this away. Uh, whatever doesn't fit. Oh well, I'll just you know snow <laughs> and have a little bit for myself as a treat. So there you go. Snow cream. I put it in a Ziploc bag. That is more than enough. I'm gonna rinse that. So that's going in the freezer and we'll have snow cream when we want it. I'll just probably chip away some. So I'm gonna have a little bit right now. I have some in my bowl and finish working. There's a extreme close-up of the snow cream. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that. I like it. Polly thought it was grainy. That's all right, I liked it. And just like that, dinner's done. Hungarian mushroom soup. Uh, I didn't do it on video because I have before. And I'll include a link. It's a blog post, I think. Uh, I think in November. So it's canned mushrooms, which I sauteed. I left some for uh, put in as whole and then it's my turkey stock that I made a quarter cup of dill Hungarian paprika a little soy salt black pepper uh, sour cream and I'm going to serve it with a wedge of lemon and those fried mushrooms as well as some garlic croutons so that's what's for dinner and that's gonna um, do it for me for today thank you so much for stopping by enjoying our snow if you're living vicariously then yeah <laughs> good for you if you're not stay in make hot chocolate <laughs> as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up it's free for you and it helps me out and i'll see you all tomorrow which i will be on the road to work see you then